Now, before I get into the admission process, let me first talk about whether you're eligible or not. What is the eligibility criteria? If you have cleared your class 12th, and if you have more than 60% marks in maths, then you are eligible. If you have not taken maths at all in class 12, then you're not eligible. Second eligibility criteria is that your age as of July 2024 should be less than or equal to 20 years. Now, if you satisfy both of those criteria, then you are eligible for the program. Once you are eligible, then you can apply for the program using the link that is given in the description. Once you apply and you fill out all your details, the next step after that is taking a written test, which is called as NSET. That happens every month till we end up closing the batch. Now, the test has three sections. There is a section on math, there is a section on logical reasoning, and there is a section on learnability. Now, learnability is new, so let me spend some time on that, and then I'll also spend some time on maths and logical reasoning. Learnability is basically checking that if you are taught a new concept on the fly, are you able to learn that quickly and then apply that? That is one of the most important skills in the field of computer science because things keep changing, and hence you have to keep learning and adapting, always. So hence, what, is, what happens in that section is that you are taught a new scenario or taught certain new concepts, and then you are asked questions on those concepts. If you are able to understand that on the fly, then you will be able to answer the questions as well. Now let's come to maths. Now maths is very similar to the kind of maths that you would have studied for JE or any other entrance exams. Um, however, it is more focused on stat statistics, probability, um, and a little bit of linear algebra. Those are the three topics that are focused within maths. And then logical reasoning. Now logical reasoning um, has questions around uh, next number in a given sequence or next pattern in a given sequence of patterns. If you go and search for logical reasoning uh, in, in exams like CAT, etc., you'll find a bunch of questions. The questions are very similar. However, they're not exactly what you'll find on the internet. Now, if you clear these sections and you do end up doing well on NSET, then the next process is clearing interviews, which means you go through two interviews. And the interviews focus on maths primarily, but maybe a little bit also on your dreams and aspirations. Why do you want to come at SST? What do you want to do in life? Does that align with the philosophy of SST or not? The one small call out that I'll, I'll have here is that if you fail in your NSET attempt, then the failure is not final. You get maximum of three attempts, which means imagine if I apply in the month of Feb, then I get to write the NSET exam in Feb, but I can also write the exam in March if I want to, if I fail in, in this one, and I can also write the exam in April if I fail both Feb and March but then I cannot apply post that. However, if you get selected and then you get interviewed and you get rejected in the interview, then the rejection in the interview is final. Then you cannot apply after that. If you have done well on the NSET exam as well as in the interview, then we give you an offer. Essentially, there are three results from the interview. Either you get an offer, which is you're selected, or you get rejected, or you get waitlisted. If you're rejected, then you know the answer. If you're selected, then you know the answer. If you're waitlisted, then we just ask you to wait. In a few weeks or months, we'll give you clarity on whether you are part of SST or not. It is possible in my description, I might have missed out on a few points. So if you have more questions, which were not covered in this answer, there's again a link given below about the admission process. I would recommend you check out that link that has very detailed description on every single segment. Thank you.